showing you how to install grip tape on a skateboard. So the first thing you're going to need is your board. I have a switch board. And then you're going to need your sheet of grip tape. And I have my mob sheet of grip tape. And then you're also going to need a screwdriver or something, basically something that's flat and metal. Or not flat, but you could use a file, you could use a screwdriver. It doesn't really matter, just something that you can score the grip tape with that's hard and metal. And then you're going to need a razor blade, I have one here, or a really sharp knife. So you want something pretty much like the sharpest knife you can find. Well, not too sharp, because then you cut into your boards, but you get the point. So what you're going to do is set them aside. You're going to have your grip tape, and you're going to need to peel the sheet off the back. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to find the end. Ah. Sometimes it can be hard to find the end. There we go. So you're going to peel this off. And you will need to keep this for something later, so don't throw this um, paper away just yet. Okay, so I'll set the paper to a side. And as you can see, the grip tape actually has holes in the bottom of it. That is to kind of make air go through so it won't get air bubbles, but to prevent air bubbles. So you want to line it up. So line it up just like that on the sides. And then you want to have your fingers underneath and feel the board. And on, you want to stick it down on one side. So over there, I'm going to stick down. And then you're going to kind of lift up and then pat down. You're just going to pat down all the way to the other side. Make sure no air bubbles get in. And it's going to go just like this. So I might speed this part up for you now. Okay, there we go. I have the board gripped. And now you're just going to feel around for air bubbles. You might even want to stand on it a bit. And basically just flatten everything out. Make sure all the grip tape is stuck down. And then we're going to score it. So, I'm just going to do this a little bit first. Oh, I just forgot something. So, another thing you can do is take your um, grip tape wrapper, put it on top, and then you can just slide your hand across it like this, and this will smooth everything out perfectly fine. Okay, so now that that is done, you should have all of the grip tape stuck right to your board. So now what you're going to do is on all of the corners where the band is in the board, so right here, you're going to make a cut straight down to the board, like that, and same on all of the other corners. your board too much. Um, so then in the other corners. Board right there. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of fold the edges over a little bit. Not like really fold them, you just kind of get the a little bit of crease in it. And now what you're going to do is take your screwdriver or whatever device you have for doing this, and you're just going to run it along the edge, just like this. And this is going to make the outline of your board.
Okay, so now after you have a good outline of your board, what you can do now is um, you're going to take your razor blade and dig into the grip tape. Just like this, you want to put it underneath and cut the grip tape right on the score you made. So just like that. And then you're just going to slide your razor blade down the board, cutting off the grip tape. Okay, so now after you have your grip tape and your board cut out, um, any little mess up bits you may have, you want to kind of take care of. So I've messed up in a couple spots. And there is a trick for kind of smoothing out this stuff later. But, cut that bit off. And you want to keep this extra grip tape here as well. I'll show you what we're going to do with that later. Trim that up. Just make sure everything's nice and smooth along the edges. Any bits you may have not trimmed, you want to trim off. And in some spots you may, have no you may have noticed there's not much grip tape here. There's not really anything you can do about that. That was just me not doing a super good grip tape job. But, you're, this side's looking a little better than that side, but you can kind of just come along with the knife and cut off the little excess bits. You want to make sure you don't cut into your board when you're doing this up. Um, so, you should have a board that looks something like this now. Now what you're going to do with this other grip tape is you want to fold it just like that and it should make a nice little bit you can rub along. You're going to rub that along the edges. Well actually one thing I like to do, I like to kind of score it one more time after. I don't know, I've just gotten in the habit of doing this. Take this little bit of grip tape you might you've got, and you're going to rub it kind of on the board to kind of smooth out the edges so they stick better. Just like that. So now all you have left is to poke out your holes, so you're just going to need some type of, um, like an Allen wrench or something to stick down in there, poke out your holes. But yeah, that's how you put on grip tape. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I will see you all in the next video.